All right, I'm doing a race review voiceover again uh, for Melbourne 70.3 this time. And here's the swim start. I um, haven't watched this video yet, so I'm just going to wing it and talk as we go. I was wearing the pink cap. I'm not sure how much we'll see um, with the close-ups. I didn't get to watch the live stream, but I have been getting a lot of feedback from people about the drafting situation on the bike. So um, people were just as angry as me, which is great. Um, but anyway, first to this, I am on the far right. Um, uh, I was leading the swim at about halfway through and then at this point I'm second. I got on the feet of, I think, Kurt Fryer, uh, also a two times U wetsuit. I had the theory during the race that it was helping us both, but here we got out of the water first, Kurt, me second. I think it was Charlie Quinn in third, who I expected to be first and push the pace, but um, I reckon he might have been saving himself for a lot of the race, which is what I'm hearing from lots of the feedback about the bike as well. There was a few that were um, helping a lot, Mitch Cunningham, uh, Fraser Walsh, um, but that was about it really. It's fine to use the tactics of um, kind of not pulling a turn on the front. I get it, it's within the rules, it's wise, it's smart, that's how you win a race, but um, there was just blatant drafting going on as well. So that was um, that got really frustrating. And here you can see me coming into transition with the first two guys. I did get out on the bike first. Um, that's That was the goal. And the goal was also to break away, but I thought I'd give myself 10 minutes giving it a crack. And then if I quickly realised that it just wasn't going to happen, I would stop trying. But here in my mind, I was I was like, yep, you're definitely going to get away here, but didn't realise someone was directly behind me getting onto that bike. Um, couldn't get away. We had some media, like, as you can see here. Um, basically, if you if you tried, that media would get too close and block a crosswind or it would, um, it would get behind the leader so that the second guy that's trying to catch back up has a massive draft to, to be able to catch back up. And here you can see my frustration with the fact that the three of us just couldn't get away and it's fine if they were passengers but what I could see was that most most of the guys not all of them and I'm not I don't want to name too many names um I've just got I've had so many messages from people um saying you're gonna have to mention it um so I'm giving the people what they want there were people sitting four and five meters behind us it was absolutely taking the piss so this bike ride became a real frustration for lots of us and it it here you can see me talking a phrase as he comes past and, and Mitch is coming up soon. I talked to him as well. The rest were just close behind, uh, too close. And we were just basically telling each other, it's not going to happen. We're not going to get away. Um, so I was kind of saying to the guys, just push Ironman pace out front. Here's the, the two of them. The only ones that saw the front other than me, um, poor Mitchy ended up getting a penalty. So here he is pulling into the penalty soon um, it was one of the guys that was drafting a lot. Well, here's, here's a situation where the group wasn't on a hill. We didn't have to be bunched up. Why on earth is someone so close to the back of my wheel? That is complete drafting. Who you, The people you can see in front of me are age groupers. So that's not... I'm keeping a distance from that person in front regardless. But this here, and there's a camera, is crazy. Here's the next bloke. Uh, anyway, um, I can't say how angry some of the other pros were. Um, it took a lot of the anger out for me having getting the win in the end but um, because I wanted to just enjoy it and I didn't really deal with it on the day. I just ignored it um, after the race. But lots, of, lots and lots of feedback saying this needs to be sorted out, it needs to be addressed. So I really hope these guys don't do it again because here's Mitchie taking a penalty when a five minute penalty when he did nothing wrong. He slammed on the brakes to make someone who kept drafting take a turn at the front and to get off his wheel. He was yelling, get off my wheel. And he was the one that got a penalty and we just were just baffled by the decision. And we also, um, as low as this is, I dobbed nonstop. 
I don't like drafting. I don't like cheating. I dobbed continually to the technical official that was there, and she just continually did nothing about it. So anyway, I'll stop complaining. What happens here is we get through transition, and I get a bit worried because, you know, there's a few guys that can really run and potentially have much fresher legs than me. Um, but but with all the Ironman training I've done, I don't think I pushed to, you know, besides the attempts to get away here and there, I only pushed on the front Ironman power. So I know I can run well off that. So I was still confident that I can outrun some guys that maybe did less work. Um, sorry, definitely did less work. But but yeah, at, at, you do get worried a bit when the gap gets out to a minute and you start thinking, shit, uh, what have I done? Um, have I let him go? Um, but yeah, got a lot of really positive feedback, which was awesome. Um, I wasn't sure if I was just imagining it on the day and getting angry for nothing, but lots of messages saying, I'm so stoked you won. Um, I didn't want to see someone win that kind of got a free ride and, um, yeah, it was awesome. Just, I kept the faith. I kept pacing it as I needed to. And, um, maybe around 16 K is when I caught, uh, the leader and I went past and it ended up around a three minute 10 gap. Um, this is the only footage you get to see of me cause I was only in the lead towards the end. Um, and that's when the camera, the camera only follows the leaders, unfortunately. Um, but yeah, here it is. I, I kind of knew at this point that I'd won and it was an awesome experience. Um, can't wait for the next one. We just got to sort out this issue about drafting. It's, it just isn't fair and we need to get fair racing 